After every explosion and after every crash, something is learned. The NHRA and the teams find out what happened and implement different devices to improve the safety of the cars. Here's Parker Johnstone and Mike Dunn to explain some recent safety innovations in drag racing. Well, Mike and I have crashed and burned more than a few times during our professional driving careers, but Mike, it's not about us all the time. Let's talk a little bit about the safety innovations in funny car bodywork. Well, Parker, let's start out with the front of the body. We have the burst panel here, and what this is designed to do in the event of a supercharger explosion, all that pressure will be relieved when this blows off, thus preventing the body from splitting in half and the pieces flying in the air. Also, you see back here, we have the holes in the side windows. Now, this is basically for the safety safari in the event of a fire, can get the hose down in there and keep the driver cool until he is able to get out of the car. The roof hatch. Now, this is where the driver does escape from the car. Once he gets this thing stopped, he's going to pop this open and get out of the car as quickly as he can. Let's have a look at the Chrome Molly tube frame chassis. A number of innovations have also occurred during the course of the years. Mike, especially in the driver's cockpit area. Well, one of the things I like, Parker, that, that has been developed in the last year or two is, is the actual uh, roll bar padding here. Now, this helps in the event the driver hits the wall, his head won't hit that roll cage and possibly knock him out. The other thing that I like is this fresh air system that I didn't have when I drove back in 1991. This allows fresh air into the driver's helmet so he's not breathing that toxic air and smoke from the fire. Talked about the body, the chassis, what about the engine? Well, we have ballistic blankets underneath on the bottom for the engine, also top on the supercharger to contain those parts in the event of an explosion. Also burst panels on the manifold, which work basically the same way as on the body. That will relieve the pressure in the event of a supercharger backfire, thus not splitting the manifold and obviously keeping the parts and pieces more contained. There's the driver's safety equipment. Now, I'm familiar with all this equipment. I wore something very similar during my IndyCar career, but in drag racing, there's just more of it. Well, Parker, you know, you drove one of those sissy Indy cars, you know, the motor was in back. Right here, you got 8,000 horsepower sitting in front of you that can that is very volatile, as we've seen. So obviously, you need a lot of protection. Su super thick, uh, heavy-duty fire suit, underwear. You have the heavy boots that go over the driving boots. Two pairs of gloves because you want that protection because in the event of a fire, you're in there getting the handles, shutting the fuel shut off, getting the fire bottles. They're the most likely thing to get burnt. Also, the Hans device in the event you hit the wall, keep uh, help protect the neck and as a result of all the safety equipment drag racing one of the safest motorsports in the world especially considering they go over 300 miles per hour